Okay, if you can take 8 plus 6 and immediately say this is 14, or 5 plus 7 and immediately say 12, uh, you can probably skip this whole lesson. But some kids get past the early grades and they're still stuck with counting here. So if you have to go 8 and then go on your fingers, you go 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's taking way too much time. And so I'm going to show you a faster way, still based on counting on your fingers, but it's a whole lot faster than uh, just simply doing that kind of thing. Everybody has gone through a stage somewhere along the line where you learn to count on your fingers. Here's one, two, three, four, five. And then we go to the second hand and say six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. What I'd like you to do is think of a 6 as a 1 with a 5 added on. Think of a 7 as a 2 with a 5 added on. 8 is a 3 with a 5 added on. And 9 is a 4 with a 5 added on. So if you can deal with 1, 2, 3, and 4, you can deal with 6, 7, 8, and 9 in the same way. Because you just break down the number, you have a 5, and then you have a 1, 2, 3, or 4 added on. So let's see how that works for the second half of our numbers. So let's take 6 plus 7. Well, 6 plus 7 is 1 plus 2. That's 3. And there's two fives, so that's 10. That's 13. So 6 plus 7 should be as easy to do as 1 plus 2. It's 10 plus 3 is 13. We can keep going. 8 plus 7 is like 3 plus 2 added on to a 10. And that's 15. 9 plus 6, that's like 4 and a 1, that's a 5. So 9 and 6 is 5 plus 10, that's a 15. 8 plus 6, that's 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 10 is 14. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Break down your numbers into a 5 plus whatever extra there is, add up the extra stuff, and then add up however many 5s. It'll either be 5, 10, or 15 added on. So that's really all there is to this method. You don't need for me to go through every single combination. Just use this same uh, technique and you can break down the larger numbers into smaller numbers. And so you don't get stuck having to count up lots of numbers and slowing yourself way down.